Gambling can be deadly. Unfortunately, a pharmaceutical CEO found that out on October 26th when he was followed around the casino and home after winning $10,000. Let's find out what happened. But if you're brand new here, I'd like to just introduce myself. My name is Carolyn from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings. And if you're one of our regular ramblers, welcome. I urge you to click on the subscribe button if you are new and join our great community. And let's see what happened here. Sri Ranga Avarapali had a great night at the Parks Casino in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. The 54-year-old was probably on top of the world as he got in his car and headed home to Plainsboro, New Jersey, where he lived with his family in the early morning hours of October 26th. As he started his drive, he was probably thinking about what great luck he had at that casino. What he didn't know is that he had some very bad luck following him. While Sri's family lay sleeping in their home, Sri was probably thinking of ways to surprise them with his big win. He never got that chance. While he made it inside his home, he never made it upstairs. Police received a 911 call and arrived at Sri's house a little after 3.30 a.m. The call was about shots fired. When they arrived, they found Sari with multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police believed it was some type of a robbery regarding the casino winnings, and they conducted an investigation in which they retrieved multiple security camera footage and footage from inside the casino that told the story of what happened. The man following him in a BMW that night is 27-year-old Jakai Reed John. And police believe that Jakai Reed John saw what happened, the big win, the cash out, getting to leave the casino, and they thought, well, this was a good target. When police viewed the surveillance from the casino, they saw Jakai Reed John and another man, and they were lurking around Sari at the casino. The second man has not been publicly identified. Now, one of the two men used a debit card at the casino, and that produced a receipt with the name Reed John. It's unclear when Jakai Reed John started targeting Abu Rapali, but they did nonetheless. Jakai Reed John is from Norristown, Pennsylvania, and police arrested and charged him on Tuesday morning in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, with one count of first degree murder in the fatal attack. Police say that he followed Sari about 30 miles from the casino to his home in Plainsboro, New Jersey. When he got there, he broke in through a sliding door and shot Sari several times. Sari never made it upstairs. We all know there's cameras almost everywhere and cameras really helped solve this case. Easy Pass records revealed a white BMW with a temporary Delaware license plate and aftermarket wheels, along with a black spoiler, was the vehicle that was following Sari as he entered the Pennsylvania Turnpike. The same car continued to follow Sari off that turnpike at 3.20 a.m. And the 911 call about the shots fired came in just 18 minutes later. As law enforcement believes this, is atta this attack was apparently a robbery gone bad, 
chose three, cashed out his winnings at around of around ten thousand dollars before leaving the casino. Now Jakai Reed John didn't know Sari, but he watched him take off and then he hit the road right behind him, following him home around three AM from the casino. Fifty four year old father, husband, didn't even make it upstairs where his wife and water, daughter were sleeping. Nope, didn't make it because Jakai Reed John broke through a backsliding door and shot Sari, killing him. A neighbor said that after the gunshots, a car could be heard racing away from the scene in the quiet upscale neighborhood. The initial tip of Reed John's identity came from a video camera positioned at a farm stand near the home. Investigators allegedly found Reed's, Reed John's BMW with Pennsylvania registration, and it was linked to the Norristown address that the court papers have. A trash bag was spotted on the front seat along with a pair of Dior B23 high top sneakers in the back seat, which matched the description of the shoes worn by the person on the security footage from the casino. When the car was searched, the bag contained clothing matching the description that the person in the video at the casino was wearing. They also found that temporary Delaware registration tag Reed John told cops that he was driving the BMW on Monday, that he went to the casino where he just purchased food, but he lawyered up when he was asked about what happened after he left the casino. Police also found a 9mm handgun. They didn't say where. Casings recovered at the scene were 38, according to the court papers. Shri is the chief executive officer of Orex Labs, and that's a pharmaceutical company that develops soft gelatin capsules, tablets, and clinical supplies. He leaves behind a wife, a daughter, and a son, the youngest child in high school. Shri's neighbors said they were shocked by the murder, saying no one wins in something like this. How can the person that did this think they could get away with it? Why would they kill him? You never expect this. We were shocked when we came to know what happened. Many living near the casino were shocked and found the incident disturbing and horrifying. Other neighbors say it's a devastating loss. Parks Casino said it's deeply saddened over what happened. Public records show that Reed John has been out on parole when this happened, but his criminal history was not immediately available. That's it for this right now. Sad story. And uh, life can change in a moment, so enjoy every moment of it. And we'll be back with you again soon, I hope. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.